Okay guys, what's up? It's part two. If you've been waiting for this, the time is now. And if you're not familiar with this project, you would like to see more of this PA22 Tripacer, I have a part one. You can click or tap the link up there. It'll bookmark it for later. But we're gonna pick right back up on where I left off with the horizontal stabilizer stuck and what my next step was moving forward. I'm gonna show you as I do that along with what I uncover and then after that, what else I uncover, and then the plans moving forward from there. So let's get to it right now. Next up, I'm actually gonna take the fabric off and try to get in there and put some more penetrant to loosen it up. And if that doesn't happen to be the trick, then this might be. So let's get to it. Okay, here we go. looking pretty good on this side so it's promising I think it's just a bad fabric job be careful not to get the fuselage here And we've got some rust going on. Oh yeah, we've got a rusty horizontal stabilizer. Okay guys, moment of truth. We're gonna have to open this up because back there, the rust we had, it looked very similar to what I'm seeing right here. Um, so we're gonna have to open it up. If it's not bad, we can stitch it back up and it'll be just fine. Um, but if it's not, we're gonna have to uh, heat up the tail anyways with the torch to take the horizontal stabilizer apart on the aft section there. So. Um, if we're going to have to refabric, yeah, I said refabric this whole fuselage, then we might as well go ahead and get rid of all the fabric back there. We don't have to worry about that when we torch it by putting the welding blanket and all that to protect it to keep from the fire. So um, we're going to open this up. It's either going to be 
really bad, I think, or it's going to be just fine. So um, we're going to check it out right now and let's find out. So it's a moment of truth. This is crazy. Never thought I would have to do this for at least a few years. Okay, I got a pretty good path there. Okay. We'll get the light a little closer here, but I'm pretty sure what I'm seeing is some pretty ugly stuff. We got some loose debris, and I'm afraid it's rust. Lots of it. It's very unfortunate. I'm not surprised right now because what we just found on the back, but it's very, very, very unfortunate. This is surprise number two, and it's it's pretty daggone horrible, honestly. Very unfortunate. A lot of things to consider here. Rest of the evening um, in the next several weeks and months. So this project is officially it's going to be 100% restoration. Okay, guys, this is very unfortunate, and I already have a J3 project up here. You can see hanging on the wall. It's a 1939 restoration J3 project that I've had for some time. And I'm actually looking to get back on that here soon, but I can't have two. I decided I, I just can't have two restoration projects at the same time. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to start looking for something else. I want a four place stow style aircraft, something fairly capable of sort of take off or landing. And I've decided to start looking and I do have a specific aircraft that I have my eye on in hopes that I can actually get that aircraft sometime later this year. So if you're interested in seeing some Piper J3 restoration, building some wings, I've decided to actually start sharing some of that with you. That'll be later this summer. I'll be getting into that. Okay, guys, so this has been pretty hard. It's been pretty tough and very unfortunate that this uh, surprises, multiple surprises came up like this, but um, definitely more mechanical videos coming up and J3 stuff will be coming up more and more. I'll be sharing some of that later this year, my projects on the J3. If you're interested in that, definitely keep an eye out. But until next time, be safe and be blessed. I'll see you in the next one later.